cardiovascular disease remains an important and uh, large medical problem in our society and will continue to be so, particularly as we start to see signs of in, increasing evidence of type 2 diabetes in our community, higher levels of body weight, increased obesity rates, that the uh, burden of cardiovascular disease will continue to, to increase. Therefore, research, particularly at the basic level and moving through to the translational level, is absolutely critical if we're going to make an impact on this uh, disease, this very common and complex disease process. My work really is, is focused in on trying to understand how hypertension and heart failure uh, happen, in essence, in this really simple terms, and really trying to get an understanding of what the progression is from somebody being healthy to being unhealthy, like having high blood pressure or heart disease of some kind. And if I can understand what makes the disease happen, then maybe we can either stop it or come up with better medications. And part of that is actually being fantastic being in, in a multidisciplinary group like the Robarts, where we're surrounded by other cardiovascular scientists and other scientists, but cardiovascular scientists that can have their own little bits and pieces that they will feed into my story. So it's a very nice collaborative environment where we tried to come together, try to get a better understanding of what's happening with different diseases. As part of the cardiovascular team at Robarts, uh, our work looks at the use of stem cells uh, to generate new blood vessels. This could have application for um, peripheral limb ischemia, which is the direct application that we look at, but it could also have applications to stroke, um, myocardial infarction or heart attack, or any type of cardiovascular disease. Uh, to try to repair the damage that's caused by these diseases. The vascular biology group uh, at Robarts is the, certainly the premier uh, vascular biology research group in Canada. And as part of that group, uh, the research that I'm engaged in uh, has to do with the relationship of lipoproteins to atherosclerosis. So in other words, that is fat-containing particles in the bloodstream, which include cholesterol triglycerides, and when they become elevated or your body doesn't use them normally, they start to bombard the arterial wall and initiate the disease process um, called atherosclerosis, which in turn underlies the major cause of heart attacks and stroke. We study the behavior of the blood vessel wall, particularly in the context of the multitude of stresses and strains that take place on that wall over the course of an individual's lifespan because it's really the accumulation of those minor insults and sometimes more major insults that lead to profound health problems including heart attacks and strokes. So our interest is understanding those pathways that enable the cells within the vessel wall to resist those stresses and in fact repair when needed, and essentially bring the vessel wall back to as normal and youthful state as possible. Reinventing the wheel is just not what we want to do in cardiovascular research. So as much expertise in the immediate vicinity of any single group of investigators is just vital. It raises the level of expertise. When you see superb researchers working around you, you're just stimulated to be superb yourself, if at all possible. And finally, the enjoyment factor. We need to enjoy what we do, and this is an outstanding way to do that. And I think through that, excellence is increased.